Hey guys, what's up? Will here. Today I wanted to go over a question I get a lot, which is, should I use uh, Clavio pop-ups or some other tool like Just Uno or Privy? I think these are sort of, uh, and there's there's other tools out there as well, like Sumo and um, uh, Optin Monster. I mean, there's a bunch of these sort of pop-up tools, but I, but I do see like Privy and Just Uno. These are the two I hear a lot because I think they they're they're like some that are sort of like really more focused on uh, e-commerce uh, or that's sort of like their their niche or at least where they started so I'll kind of group them all together I'm not going to get into this like should I choose just Uno over Privy or Privy over Sumo or something like that I will just sort of group all of those together on whether or not you should use them over uh, Klaviyo pop-ups um, so yeah let's let's jump into it I guess like when I'm working with clients, I'm, the first thing I'm looking to do is, especially if they're already using Clavio, is to see if we can just use the Clavio pop-up builder. Uh, the reason is, is because you don't have to pay, uh, you don't have to pay anything for it. You know, if you're already using Clavio, um, and it has a lot of good good features already. Like you can get uh, pretty pretty granular with the logic. Like you can you can exclude certain pages. Uh, you can design pop-ups for mobile and desktop. You have different triggering times. You can do like accident tent uh, pop-ups or you could do, you know, like trigger after someone scrolls for 30 seconds or something like that. So, um, and even the, even the, the editor, it, like it's in terms of like styling the pop-ups, is it's not like the best, but it, it, it's, it's good enough a lot of the time. So I'm always looking at first to see if I can just use that because I think that's the the easiest path forward and it's sort of a way to uh, it's definitely the most cost-effective way to do it um, if we can't use that you know if for whatever reason we end up having to use just Uno or Privy or one of these other third-party pop-up tools uh, normally it's because the client needs something a little bit more uh, more granular or more features. And I can tell you like probably the biggest feature that uh, that both these tools like Just Uno and Privy offer that, that I see a lot of store owners want is uh, the ability to do A-B testing. Because um, that's something that really, I think the Clavio pop-up builders is really missing. Like I can't, I can't do an A-B test where it's like, hey, like, on this page, I want 50% of the traffic to get this pop-up, and I want 50% of the traffic to get that pop-up. So I think that's that's like one value add that I see that these that these tools add. And, and I know like both of these tools, like Privy and certainly Just Uno, are trying to sort of position themselves as more than just like a pop-up builder. Um, I know, for example, Privy does has like a full-on email marketing service now. So I think you can send campaigns and auto automated emails there. They're also doing, um, they sort of are positioning themselves more around like uh, AI. Like I know that's sort of Just Uno's sort of angle that they take around sort of like predictive, predictive sort of behavioral marketing for stores. And I think, it, it, you know, like basically from what I can tell, like basically what that means is you get more you get more features as a store owner and I think like one of the another feature outside of the A-B testing is this sort of like more AI customer predictive pop-ups around customers behavior whether that's on site or where they purchased or like certainly there, there's a lot more stuff you can do about with like cross-selling uh, certain offers with pop-ups um, both of these tools are, uh, have the capability to do that, while with Klaviyo, it's, it's really quite hard to do. I don't even think you can offer any sort of uh, product offer pop-ups uh, with Klaviyo. It's pretty, much, it's pretty straightforward, just you know, um, opt-in via email. And now they can, you can opt-in via SMS as well, which is a cool new feature. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's really the upside to using those tools. Uh, I would say the down, the, you know, there's not so much of a, I wouldn't say it's a downside, but 
it just depends on your your business but I, I have heard like a lot of stores sort of complain about the pricing around not just Privy and Just Uno, but but some of these tools that are that are pricing based off uh, like your page views or your checkout visits and stuff like that. They're, they're basically ba they're they're pricing you based off the volume uh, of traffic that you're doing on your site, and it sounds really innocent at first. Like you know, if you're just starting out, it's like whatever. You know, I pay you know thirty bucks a month Just Uno. But you know, once you once you scale up, like I had one store that was really scaled up, probably doing one of our clients probably doing about eight hundred thousand dollars a month in sales. So you can imagine the amount of impressions and page views they're getting on their site every day. And uh, all they had was just like one pop up, a simple like pop up uh, for new customer or new prospects, anybody who's not shopped before on the site, and. They were paying like five or six hundred dollars a month to just do no for that, for that one pop up that that honestly they could have done in Clavio, all right? Because um, <laughs> it's a really simple, it's just a simple email opt in uh, that led to like a welcome flow. Um, so yeah, I mean, in, in that sense, like it made no sense for them to use just do no. I mean, they were literally burning five hundred, six hundred bucks a month on that. Um, but the, the customers that I see do getting <clears throat> getting value out of Just Uno are the ones that are, or, or Privy or any, any of these tools, are the ones that are really, you know, they have like a whole suite of pop-ups, maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 different types of pop-ups that have all sorts of different crazy logic, that have all sorts of different offers uh, other than just email opt-in offers. Maybe they're product offers, maybe they're gift card offers, maybe they're SMS offers. Uh, and they're also doing some split testing and also they might need um, more sort of advanced advanced functionality around styling the pop-ups too. Uh, I think this is when it becomes much more um, much more advantageous to use to use uh, one of those tools. So I hope that helps. Uh, like I said, I, you know if you're looking to save money, I would always always look to start out. Uh, using Clavio pop-ups and certainly if you're just new to Clavio I would just start there um, instead of necessarily spending money right away on one of these tools but as you grow your business and you're looking for um, you know more advanced functionality out of pop-ups then you know I think that's when you sort of start migrating all your pop-ups over to one of those those third-party tools so anyway thanks again for watching guys and I'll talk to you later